we're talking about reprogramming here and this doesn't happen overnight, but we're talking about permanent shifts, permanent changes, true transformation. Hey there, Empowered Vegan Lifers. This is Ella and I'm here with my co-host. What is up, Stephanie? <laughs> hey, Ella. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I feel really good this morning. How about you? I do yeah, I do too. You know, for a Monday morning, I feel like it might be Friday. Yeah, and I, I got up at five. Like, I was, I was on it this morning and yes. I have mushroom coffee. Well, that's probably it. That might be part of it, but... Yeah, well, drink your mushrooms. You know what? I'm That's... just excited to be here right now. <laughs> I am too. We haven't been together for a long time. It feels like that. We did quite a number of, of uh, calls in a row and then, yeah. So what are yeah. you celebrating, Stephanie? Um, <laughs> you know, I finally got to see my parents last, this last weekend. It was, uh, you know, we didn't get to hug or anything like that, but I haven't seen them for a couple months. And it was my mom's birthday. And so we, we went up and to Nebraska and we celebrated with her and, and, um, you know, it was just, it was just good to be together. My, my kids and my parents are very bonded and, uh, love each other so much. And so it was, it was just good to be together. Hmm, that's so lovely. How how far are they from you? About two and a half hour drive. Right. You know, in the Midwest, we don't actually say miles. We right. say. <laughs> what do we, you say? We say hours or minutes. Like we don't say, oh, it's 150 miles. I have no idea how far it is to Lincoln from Kansas City, but I do know in terms of time. time. Like we say two and a half hours. That makes sense. Two hours and 38 minutes to be mm -hmm. exact. Gotcha. That's not bad. That's not bad. They're pretty close. Yeah, not bad at all. What are you celebrating? Well, I can talk about my Sunday yesterday. So we're, reco we're recording this on a Monday morning. And yeah. yesterday was Sunday's kind of my day, my boyfriend and I to have quality time together because we work both basically six days a week. And so we decided I bought last weekend on a happy hour Zoom uh, my friend said that she bought a blow up kayak off of Amazon yes. and I was, I was a couple margaritas in, not going to lie, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I thought that was the best idea I'd ever heard. So I got on right then and there and got this, got this kayak, this blow up kayak, which came. Uh, so we went and picked it up and it was beautiful yesterday morning. I mean, the ideal weather. Like Miami, us in Miami, we, we wait for this time of year when it's just beautiful. It's not too hot and muggy. It's just gorgeous and the sun was shining. And I hate to say that since you just said it's cold where you are right now, but <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> still a little guilty. <laughs> no worries. Okay. But anyway, it was one of those days. So by the time we went up, we did some yoga in the morning. By the time we went up and got the, the kayak, put it in the car, uh, it wasn't blown up yet, but... It, it, the weather completely shifted. So on the way drive back, it overcast, rain, it started pouring. I get this beep, beep, beep on my phone. And he's like, what is that? And I was like, oh, that's a marine warning <laughs> for severe weather <laughs> in the next <laughs> hour. Uh, so, so we came back to his place and we blew it up in the kitchen. <laughs> and, the, the kayak right correct yes okay good. so oh I don't know if you can see it I know people uh, at home can't see it right now except on YouTube but yeah it's it's in, sitting in the middle of the living room we were like let's let's just have a kayak party so we got in and we put on our sunglasses and I put my my dog's uh, uh life vests on and <laughs> and we all like we hung out in the kayak for a little bit and it just you know what it was just it was playful like we could have been frustrated. Oh, that was the other thing. When we went to pick up the kayak, the reason we were so late getting back was that his battery died in his car. Oh, and so it was like this whole bunch of mess, but you know what? We, uh, we rolled with it and we didn't get upset. We didn't even get frustrated. We laughed about it. We came back, we had ourselves a little playful time. And, and at the end of the day, we were like, that was a really good day. And I'm like, what did we do? We, we kind of drove and blew up a kayak inside, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but it felt like a really good day. So I am celebrating rolling with the punches and yeah. just being playful. 
Cause that's, that's yeah. that come easy to me to, uh, you know, as adults, we, we do that adult thing where we don't know how to play anymore. Yeah. And I'm definitely guilty of that, but I, every day I seem to be making some strides in the direction of being more playful. So that's what that's, I'm sorry. I love that. I love that. Thank you. I posted a picture on Instagram uh, to show everybody. <laughs> There's one other thing though that we're celebrating. Yes. yes. Big news. Yes. I, I can't <laughs> even believe it. It is time to spill the beans, right? Uh, and that's one of the few vegan friendly sayings. Have you noticed that, Stephanie? Oh. About you guys at home. Yeah. Yeah. Christian yeah. just yesterday was like, oh, this will this will be great. I'll get to kill two. And then he stopped and he caught himself and he's like, I'll get to do two things at once in a very efficient manner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are so many sayings that you don't think about until, <laughs> until you adopt this life and yeah, spill yeah. the beans. Yes. We got to hold on to that one. That's a good one. Okay, spill the garbanzos. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Um, yeah, so this is an idea that's been, that's really taken shape now that's got us super excited, Empower Vegan Lifers. We have been biting our tongues, waiting to, to make this announcement. So it's very, very, very exciting. A uh, little ways coming now. And we want to involve you guys in this. So here's the backstory. Ever since starting the Plant Empowered Coaching Program, uh, which is now a six month program, this was years back. Uh, ever since starting that, I've talked to literally thousands of people about what they're struggling with when it comes to adopting a healthy vegan lifestyle. It's really how I continually revised the program. It started out as a six week program that was focused on food and fitness. And it has evolved over the years to this six month program that's focused on mindset with food and fitness being a part of it, of course, but that turned out to be the easy part for most people. Um, the mental and emotional tools are the tough ones to master, right? right. So what we did is, is by talking to people and then by having people go through the program, I, it was a constant learning experience. And it, it's not one of those things you put out, you put out a program and think it's going to be perfect right off the bat. You got, you got to get people in and get feedback and keep adopting it. So that's what we've really done. And, and I have to say, Stephanie, I mean, we really especially since bringing you on board, have been able to fine tune this program to get people massive, massive transformations. Yeah. Especially, yeah. yes, since bringing this queen of strategy over here, mindset <laughs> master, Stephanie. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Uh, the program is designed for working with only a very small people at a time. And I've talked to a huge number of people, I'm talking thousands over the years, right? Again, who just couldn't quite overcome some fears that prevented them from, from joining us, right? Some feels, fears of failure, about uh, worrying about making the, the investment, which is, was significant in the program. Uh, concerns not so much about the program, but about making a commitment that they didn't trust themselves to keep. Yeah. And that fear, wouldn't you say, Stephanie, was one of the main, major things that has kept people from, from making that commitment? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that fear creeps in. I think that we have, we have learned not to trust ourselves. And so uh, I think there are lots of people who, who would have, but they doubted themselves. They doubted that decision and then ended up talking themselves out of it. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly right. So so our wheels have been turning uh, for quite a while now. And I recently started to see a direction we could take to help more of you guys, Empowered Being and Lifers, go from feeling really frustrated, right? That's, that was one of the major words, stressed, frustrated, overwhelmed, exhausted, mm -hmm. you know, trying to transform your body and your life to being healthy, confident, strong, and I'm, we're talking about strong in, in mind, body, and spirit, yeah. So that you can really start moving through the world with passion and purpose. Damn, that feels good. Yes, ma'am. It does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, you know, we, we haven't been able to stop thinking about where a larger community 
dedicated to supporting one another as they go through a powerful process similar to what our massively successful clients went through in the plant empowered coaching program you know what that could lead to in one year in three years five years down the road for for everybody and mm -hmm. that's that's what's getting us inspired here yeah it's the progress we would make all being together with such a tight focus that really fires us up and that's and that's really why we are creating the visionaries membership program as part of our new vegan life coach academy and our vision is very clear uh, but i also know that stephanie and i cannot do this alone we don't have all the answers like i was just saying we have uh hired a coach to help us um, make this thing badass, make it work for everybody. Uh, but we want you guys to, to be there, giving your input, giving your feedback, helping us shape this thing to the, the most powerful process we could possibly imagine. And that's why we would love to extend an early invitation to you, Empowered Vegan Lifers. We want you to be a part of this, especially if you're willing to help us shape it into the most valuable, effective, and powerful experience imaginable. Yeah. So what we mean here is that if you join us as a founding member and you're willing to help contribute ideas on how we can make this the best place to support people who feel stuck on their journeys, you know, to becoming the best versions of themselves, to master their minds and create the healthy, fit, vegan lifestyle they desire. So, what we're willing to do is extend a very favorable founding members rate. And you can see the difference in pricing on our website at veganlifecoachacademy.com. But the coolest part is that the special founding members price will be locked in for as long as you remain a member. And this is a month to month deal. We're getting rid of that fear of commitment thing. And believe me, you guys, I, I we hesitated on this because this is not a quick fix. This is not something that you can come in and it's not a magic pill. It's not going to happen overnight. But what it does is once it happens, it happens for the rest of your life. But we're talking about reprogramming here and this doesn't happen overnight, but we're talking about permanent shifts, permanent changes, true transformation. So, We've already actually had, before we even put this out there, we did not spill the beans to anybody, we've had three people join um, <laughs> before even announcing it. And two of them went ahead and joined for an entire year. Uh, yeah. they, they actually came to us about the Plant Empowered Coaching Program. Uh, but you know, this is, this is what we're transitioning into. So we went ahead and let them join as a founding member. Uh, so, and, they, and they leaped at that opportunity. So they all, said they'd they'd love to include live streaming fitness and yoga classes as well as part of this i kind of asked them what what else they would like to see after what i told them uh and that's was one of the things and guess what you guys voila that's all it took it's a done deal we are including live classes as part of this membership how cool is that and we'll have a library and a vault you'll be able to uh, see the recordings uh, if you can't make them live so that that's what i'm talking about here and let me make this very clear. We are not making this membership available publicly. La, 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 let me just start that part over. Let me be clear here. We are not making this membership available publicly yet. It is going yeah. to be by invite only, which means I will be personally speaking with each and every person who would like to become a founding member. Basically, I'm going to be giving many coaching calls and kind of a consultation. So even when we do roll this out to the general public at the higher price, you guys that have been invited in uh, are going to always have the price that you got in with as a founding member, which is a very special rate. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do plan to launch this officially to the public on July 1st. So with all that being say, said, I have to tell you guys, we are so confident about the direction we're headed here that I don't know about you, Stephanie, I'm waking up like on my own at 5 a.m. I'm jumping into the computer. I'm doing my, doing my homework, 
getting everything set up. Uh, it's just like, it's, it's, it's fueling me right now. Yeah. I mean, we're, we are on this amazing amount of momentum because we are on the right path. We really believe in this, in this vision and this, this next level that we're taking the, um, we're taking all of this too. And it's, it's exciting. I can't wait to, I always can't wait for the next text, you know, cause you're always <laughs> texting me, Hey, what do you think of this? And I'm like, Oh, I got, I got a text and I can't wait to, you know, to, to collaborate with you on the next thing. It's so exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. It is so exciting. I know, and I keep coming up with these ideas that are just, I, I have to like share them every time I come up with one because we know our members so well. We know. We do. You yeah. know, we know what you guys are struggling with and what you want. And mm -hmm. sometimes what we think we want isn't always what we need. So we've got to give you guys both what you want and what you need. And that's, that's our aim for this. And it all begins right here, right now, today. So if you guys want to explore the possibility of becoming a founding member, I want you to go to the website. The link is in the show notes and book the call with me. Absolutely free of charge. This is a, a call to see if this is the right fit for you. Uh, so you do not need to make that commitment ahead of time. You just got to be interested and be willing to come on as a founding member and as part of that responsibility is sharing, sharing your experience, sharing what you want um, so that we can shape this thing uh, all together. Um, and just keep in mind, of course, there is only one of me. So my calendar <laughs> fills up very quickly and you've got to book your call by Friday, which means you'll have the call with me before the following Wednesday. Uh, and remember that price that we're, giving the founding members will never, ever, ever be this low again. So I'm putting that out, out there right now. So when you see the open enrollment period next month and the price is higher, you don't get upset with us and come saying, I didn't know. I'm right. telling you right now, this is the opportunity. So yeah. uh, I know I've been having these visions. I've been feeling the energy of where this community, you know, is going to be months from now, years from now when we're all going to look back and say, do you remember when it all started with that founders members launch on episode <laughs> six of the vegan life coach podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. What a, I mean, really, this is such an exciting time and what a, what a great time to get in on, on this at, you know, at the inception and be able to shape it with us. I, I love this. Yes. I love this so much. Me too. Me too. All right. Well, let's, I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Stephanie? Should we set the t scene for today's training? Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're going to want to stop multitasking for this one. Uh, we are going to be just discussing very foundational concepts to how we coach you to coach yourself and really what makes this a really empowering process. So you might want to get out a pen and paper you are definitely not going to want to be, um, you know, watching Netflix as you're listening, as you're cooking dinner, as you're, 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 you're going to want to stop the multitasking because this is important stuff. Um, so I want to kind of set the scene as we talked about in episode four. And if you haven't listened to episode four, you're going to want to go listen to episode four first and then come back. Um, but as we talked about in episode four, our subconscious is running really 90% of the time. It's running the show. And that's where our core beliefs are stored. Um, that's where we base everything we do. 90% of the time is, and really including what we're responsible for in our healthy habits, um, how we are operating within the world, how we're relating with one another. And often this is what keeps us from reaching our goals. This is what keeps us from designing the life that we want because we are uh, operating on this very subconscious level, operating from a set of beliefs that aren't working for us anymore, that we really didn't have a whole lot of direction in designing. They've, they've come from a different place than our, than our own conscious lives. So um, when you're actually looking at all of this, it's really important to bring it to that awareness. And that's really what episode four is all about, is bringing that subconscious into our awareness so that we can actually deal with it and turn those core beliefs into something that's going to serve you. 
Mm, great introduction. Yes. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Because what we're going to talk about today is the system that we base basically all of our mindset work on. Yeah. And our mindset work translates into lifestyle work, right? Everything, mm -hmm. everything we do, every decision we make about everything, you know, from what we put in our mouths to how we move our bodies, the exercise we do, uh, the decisions we make that could lead to, uh, you know, a new job or anything that we want in our lives, right? Um, going fully vegan, you know, all of this is a mindset. So yeah. what we use is something we call a tool called the self-empowerment coaching system. And we could call it sex for short. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, hey. I was like, we need, we need a shorter, I, I said to Stephanie, I said this to you the other day, Stephanie, I was like, no, I, our, our, what is it, acronym? Our acronym, uh -huh. it, yeah. It, it's sex, and you're like, oh, cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Like, oh, Who doesn't yeah. need more sex in their lives? <laughs> yeah, hello. All right, so our self-empowerment coaching system, or sex, um, you know, we're going to go through it first right now. Uh, conceptually, and then go back and give you an example. And this is something that you're going to use for the rest of your life. So this is what we train our members on to become eventually your operating system, your new operating system, uh, because this is what we're going to use to actually reprogram your subconscious. All those programs that are not serving you, those negative programs, and I was on the uh, members call with Bruce Lipton yesterday, and for those of, or, no, Saturday, uh, those of you who don't know Bruce Lipton, I, that's, we'll have to do a whole show on Bruce Lipton if he's, we, we'll we try should, to get him on. We got to get we him on. We should get him on, and I hope I don't propose to him, because that would be <laughs> awkward. Oh, gosh, yes. Amazing. We're already on a first name basis. I call him Uncle Bruce, so... <laughs> Um, no, was, like for I real, was, to his face. Uh, so <laughs> awesome. I was like, hey, Uncle Bruce. <laughs> That's so awesome. I was like, can I call you Uncle Bruce, Bruce? And he's like, well, yeah, I hope you do. I'm like, oh, I love this guy. <laughs> anyway, and he, he actually talks about the subconscious running the show up to 95% of the time. Um, wow. he, he's the scientist here. So, um, but he also said, you know, unfortunately, most of those, that subconscious programming is, in his words, bad. <laughs> it's it's negative yeah 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 what limits us uh -huh. it does not serve us in any way us. yes mm -hmm. so that's what this system is all about at first it you learn it it's a little confusing you find yourself having trouble applying it there's some resistance there this is new right but if we keep doing what we're doing we're going to keep getting what we're getting right so this is a new way of doing things uh, so here's, here's how it works and I'm going to go over it. We're going to, in, in future episodes, we're going to dive even deeper. We've got an, an advanced model that we teach in our membership program. We're going to kind of go over the simple model right now. Mm -hmm. And it all, all starts with your circumstance, right? Your situation, your circumstance that is out of your immediate control. These are facts. This is subjective, not objective. And again, we're going to give you an example, but circumstance, it just is. This is, this is a situation. It rained yesterday. You know, I had no immediate control over that. All I had was control over how I reacted or responded. So what happens is our circumstance, it triggers thoughts based on our core beliefs, which all come from the subconscious. Yeah. And oftentimes we don't even notice them. We don't stop and say, Oh, this is this reaction is these these thoughts are based on the core belief that I am not good enough. I am not worthy. You know, we don't we don't go there, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, and and believe me, if this is confusing already, you guys, please go back and watch episode four. I'll just say that one more time. Yeah. So here here we go. Circumstances have triggered our thoughts that are based on our subconscious programming, our core beliefs about who we are and what we're capable of. Our thoughts then evoke our emotions. And emotions are what most of us, a lot of us at least, notice first, right? Because we actually feel them. And these, these emotions that come from our subconscious programming are, are trapped in our bodies. So we actually feel them, 
in our bodies. You know, when you get that, that punch in the gut, you're feeling it, right? Emotions uh, are a form of energy and the world is made up of energy and quantum physics, uh, it actually proves scientifically why the law of attraction is legit. We're not gonna, I'm not going to get into quantum physics today, but it, this is backed in science. This is not even woo-woo stuff, you guys. Um, so what we can do is interchange emotion with energy, with vibration. Uh, you know, we talk about good vibes, bad vibes, high, low vibrations. That's a form of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, also important to know that most of us have quite a bit of trapped emotions in our bodies, like I was just saying. And those, again, based on core beliefs, and we carry those around. And it's actually often that trapped emotion causes us physical harm. Everything is connected. Chronic stress means illness. Stubborn body fat can also be caused by stress and those core beliefs that aren't serving us. So it's not all about what we put in our mouths. The stress and the core beliefs have a lot to do with how our body runs physically. Mm -hmm. um, so from here, from these emotions there, and the thoughts, there are two paths you can take. The first one is to go right into action as if you're on autopilot. That means you are, you are this is not a conscious thought, you, you're just going, right? And this is the path we usually take because it's what we're programmed to take. Our actions then, of course, determine our outcomes or results. So. Think about these actions that, that we take based on the core beliefs. Uh, they're, if they're based on these core beliefs that aren't serving us, that is going to lead to self-sabotaging mm -hmm. actions or behaviors, right? Think about the times that you have self-sabotaged, the emotional eating, we like to call it, overeating, eating past the po point that you know you're nourishing your body, eating junk food. You know, these are all... Uh, actions that we take that are not based on anything that's serving us because we know we're doing something that's harming us. So that's why we would call it a self-sabotaging behavior. And we all do it to some degree, some more than others. Option two, instead of going on autopilot, we have another option, option two. And this we can call our special sauce. You guys know that G loves G love and special sauce, that song? My baby got sauce. Do you know that one? <laughs> I do know that one. <laughs> Sorry, that just reminded me in the middle of this like serious training. I had to all of a sudden in my head, my baby got sauce. <laughs> and he was the first person. You, oh my God. He was, I think he was my first concert back in, in Chapel Hill at this little teeny venue. This was back, I think I was like 18, 17 or 18 in Chapel Hill at the Cat's Cradle for any of my Chapel Hill people. Cause I know I got some high school people on there. Um, <laughs> right. Yes, we saw G11 special sauce. It was up there. I just, I remember that. Anyway, okay, um, so our special sauce, uh, and I'm sure you guys will now want to know what that is. And here it is. We call it the power pause. Did you hear the vacuum? I, I heard some beeping. Okay. I didn't know if it was the vacuum or if I didn't know if it was the- vacuuming? I mean, no, I thought, nobody else in the house except Chai. Thought maybe it was the kayak. <laughs> oh no, I got a leak already. Okay. Beep, beep, okay. Beep, beep. Yeah, no. Okay, we'll start this. Let's start this part over. Um, all right. We call it the power pause or the power of the pause. So instead of going right into autopilot mode, we take a pause. We get really present. You get connected with your conscious mind and observe. You become the observer of your thoughts and feelings, like we talk about in episode four. You then approach yourself with curiosity and compassion when we're used to approaching ourselves with ridicule and judgment, right? So we approach ourselves with curiosity and compassion so that we can start to figure some things out. We take a deep dive into whether or not the thoughts you're having are going to serve you or not. And if those thoughts are going to serve you, then continue on as you were, soldier right? If not, however, you then have the opportunity by being present and conscious and observing to choose new thoughts that will get you into the action 
that is in line with your values, your goals, and your vision of what success is. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. And notice I said take action based on your new thoughts. I didn't say take action based on your new emotions. Mm -hmm. This is an, an important distinction that I want to make because even though thoughts are what evoke our emotions, having a new thought won't necessarily change your emotions or your energy right away because the other energy that's in there is so strong, so strong because it's been programmed your whole life starting before you were seven years old. Um, so your emotions might not change right away, but what you can change is the behavior based on your thoughts. Think about our core beliefs, first of all. What are beliefs? They're simply thoughts that you have over and over again until you just know them to be true, right? You just believe them to be true. But just because you have a thought doesn't make it true. And I hear Stephanie coach people on this all the time on our group coaching calls. Just because you have a thought doesn't make it true. So just because you have a belief about who you are and what your limits are, it doesn't make it true. But the cool thing is, the regardless, regardless of your emotions, you can then take intentional action based on your conscious thoughts that you've decided are the ones that are gonna serve you. So does that, does that make sense? You might have to go back and, and go through this little part again. Um, but this is kind of the, the basics, right? And so then from your actions that are going to serve you, actions then turn into outcomes or results. And ultimately, going by the whole law of attraction thing, we then, by this whole process, attract back new circumstances. And it, it doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen, you know, in a couple of days. This is, this is a lifelong journey, right? But this is how, this is how this works. We start, the more thoughts we have that are serving us, the more our energy starts to shift and change until we've got these new vibrations. We're sending out new energy into the universe and that attracts back the energy that we're putting out. So that's how this all works together. It's, it's one big, awesome cycle that we have control over that we've been taught our whole lives that we have no control over. Does that make sense? Did I say it, it, oh yeah, it, it makes perfect sense. And I think it's, I think that this is so exciting because once you start challenging those beliefs, once you bring them into your awareness and you start challenging them, challenging them in, in specific circumstances, then you've gained control because you don't have any control when you're operating on autopilot. You only have it when you are able to challenge those and, and start to rethink where you're operating from. Exactly, exactly. And I think we're gonna have probably a whole, a whole show on motivation, but I love what you talk about often, Stephanie. Can you, can you tell our Empower Vegan Lifers what you say to our clients, our members? Uh, about and what we'll be teaching ultimately in our visionaries membership yeah. uh, about motivation because this yeah. is something that comes up all the time. It really does. It really does. You know, so many of us wait to feel ready and we wait for motivation to happen to us, but actually motivation follows action. Um, you know, we wait to feel that surge of, of inspiration and we jump in, we jump into the action after the inspiration, but really that's very backwards. Uh, the action fuels the motivation and more action fuels more motivation. Uh, so thinking in terms of cause and effect, uh, action isn't the effect of motivation. Action is the cause of motivation. Motivation is the effect of action. The truth is motivation is an, an emotion and emotions are temporary, particularly emotion, uh, the emotion of, let me back up, let me start that over. Motivation is an emotion and emotions are temporary, particularly motivation has the lifespan of about seven to 10 days, if you're lucky, about the length of a honeymoon. Uh, so the honeymoon effect, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but action, 
that's a whole other thing uh, because we are in complete control of action. Action requires decision and taking action, making that decision, making that choice doesn't have to be anything to do with an emotion. Motivation is completely overrated in my book. It is much easier to act your way into motivation than feel your way into action. Boom. <laughs> That's when we like to say it <laughs> in our membership. Did you hear like our clients the other, the other week? And they were like, like Ella, like Ella says, boom. <laughs> when they have boom. <laughs> insight or realization, it's like, boom, yes. I love it. Uh, yes. And this, you know, this really goes back to what we were just talking about in terms of self-empowerment coaching system, that we've got to act based on our thoughts, not our emotions. Because if we're yeah. waiting to feel motivated, which as you said, is an, is, is an emotion, if we're waiting to feel it, we've got to reprogram ourselves to feel it. Yeah. And we have to do that by, by acting on our thoughts, not our emotions. Yeah. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. So, so there you go, you guys. This is a very simplified version, and, but we're going to be utilizing this basically in all the coaching that we do. So everything that we're going to do is going to be based on this model. And it's one of those things, we, one of my, my homework for putting together this program, and if I haven't mentioned it yet, I, my passion is putting together programs. I, yes. This is my thing. I love putting together programs. I'm super type A. So like the structure in there for me is really important and figuring it all out and then working with you guys to, to, you know, revise it and make it the best, best version um, that we can make it. Yeah. Uh, so in, in uh, doing this program, but it takes a lot of practice. But once you go through these steps, and I was doing my homework uh, for this coaching program, believe me, you guys, I have done so many coaching programs. I have spent tens of thousands of dollars getting these things right, right? Because that's how much I love putting together programs and that's how much I care about them being successful for you guys. Yeah. Um, and this membership program is no different. I'm in a whole another program now making sure to set this thing up right. And one of my homework was putting together the success path for our members. Yeah. And it really talks about going through the process of learning, practicing, and then embodying, becoming uh, an operating system that runs on the self-empowerment coaching system. It's simply how you operate. Yeah. And that's where we're at, and that's where we're helping you guys get to. So it's gonna be, it's gonna take effort at first. It's going to take a lot of effort at first. It does. Um, support, coaching, all of that is really important to be able to master this. Uh, but once you do, you will clear. It's like the skies open up, uh, the rainbow comes out, and you're like, what? I made it. <laughs> not, that there's, not that there's ever an arrival, because there's not. This is a journey till the day we die. But, but something shifts in that you see the world in a whole new way, a whole new yeah. light that, you know, Sarah just did it as one of our, one of our members when, she, what was that? Just the other, just in the last few weeks, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she got to this place where she, she just realized she was free and she was free to really, um, design her life the way that she wanted to, but it, it, it came in very, um, strategic steps. Mm -hmm. but also over a period of time to, to the point where she, it was like all of a sudden she just busted out of her cocoon. Uh, mm -hmm. but it was a, it was a process getting there by, I mean, by every account, it was a process to get there. Uh, Stephanie, you just blew my mind and I, you don't know why, but I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> okay. No, no, my mind right now is this is universe. Okay. Speaking. Wow. Yesterday, just last night, because I haven't talked to you, I was putting together, they, they say, you know, it's, it's fun to, to name your stages or your phases. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have four major phases for this, for our members to go through. And we decided, Christian and I talking, I was getting his impact, um, that it would be awesome to, uh, to relate it to a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. So phase one has been the egg. I had to look up. I didn't even quite know how caterpillars were, <laughs> were born, but they're born out of an egg. Um, and then they have their caterpillar phase and then they go into their co cocoon. 
where they're completely reorder, reorganize their cells to create this new form of life that can fly. I mean, yeah. that's what it feels like. The last stage is, is the butter, butterfly because you, you come out of this cocoon. It's like a rebirth. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. You're, you are designing your new life. You are birthing yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Into the person that you, you want to be. Exactly. Exactly. So, and when you become that person, that the lifestyle is, is just part of that. That's something you've created as you go through the success path. You're, you're starting to change your behaviors and you'll do it some of the times and then you'll start to do it more of the times. And eventually you're changing them so much that your habits go from, you start giving up the unhealthy habits, adopting the uh, healthy habits and what do habits, a bunch of habits become your lifestyle? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I can use my own stuff to illustrate this. Can you? Would uh, you do that? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and it really was out of this system that it came. Um, but, you know, I found myself in a loop uh, where I just, it was all tied. This loop was all tied to this very nasty subconscious core belief that I was, I was unlovable, just simply unlovable. And there were all kinds of ways that this really played out for me in waiting scenarios. You know, I was always waiting to be lovable when I was thin enough or waiting to be lovable when I had my next degree or had my next promotion or waiting for Prince Charming to show me how to love myself. And it really wasn't until I got really, really curious about this core belief that, and trust me, it was, it was not a pretty path, uh, but it was my path to freedom. It was my path to rebirth. And until I really looked at all that I thought and that subconscious belief that was fueling my life, um, and then I could flip it on my head, on its head. You know, I could flip all of that around so that my new thought was, what if I just started acting like I loved myself? I didn't believe it, but I started the action to create that motivation, to create that belief in myself. So that's what I did. I started making decisions, taking actions from from a place of of self-love rather than this core belief of I'm unlovable. And it started in little things like choosing a banana and oatmeal, you know, rather than the donut or a yoga session over another episode of House of Cards, you know, just started in those little things. And, and then it progressed to big things like saying exactly what's on my mind, um, not choosing to make myself small, to make other people comfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, And that is really where my rebirth started was becoming very aware of that core belief that wasn't serving me and truly had no basis in truth. And, and not everything you think is true. Exactly. And, and I think what you just said is, I mean, so massively powerful. Uh, but also you think about playing small, not serving you. Playing small is not serving the world. It really wasn't. Because you've got it so wasn't. much to offer. Every one of you guys have so much to offer the world. And when we play small, we do a disservice, not only to ourselves, but to everyone around us, to animals, to the planet, um, to this world. So yeah, yeah, that's huge. It was big. Huge. Awesome. Great example. Life changing. Yep. So you guys, we will be, we will be applying this. This is, this is our basis. So again, this is a simplified version but you're going to be hearing about this lots and lots more because this is our foundation of how we teach you uh, the most accessible way to, um, to consciously reprogram the subconscious. And there are, there are other ways to speed this up and we're going to talk about those on other shows too, but this is the operating system we need to come, come from in order to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's going to wrap up our training. And you know, one last thing I want to mention is our new telegram channel. Uh, I am loving the gift. Is it GIF or GIF? The GIF. I always say GIF. I do too. But maybe it's GIF. I'm saying GIF. I think we should say GIF. I'm going with GIF. 
It's a gif in our world. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to say it with confidence now because we've just chosen. Say it with confidence. Yeah. Yeah. We've chosen to act. They have the best gifts. <laughs> Little animated gifts. Do they not? We have this one. What, what yeah. is she? The pink um, twerking? Uh, she, what is she? Is she a parrot? Hmm, I don't think so. I thought she was like an elephant. No, not an elephant. Is. Maybe she's an elephant, but the elephant does twerk. Yeah. There is a twerking elephant. There's a twerking lobster. Oh, that was a good one, too. <laughs> I like the twerking lobster. <laughs> there, there's a lot of a lot of twerking gifts. <laughs> twerking going on in that gift collection. Oh my gosh. So that's not the only reason I like Telegram, but I really like it. It it's it, it I've really fallen in love with it. It's it's number one, super secure. So you know, there's some similarities to apps like WhatsApp, but this one is super secure. It has tons of really cool capabilities. We can do polls. Um, and this is an app that you can have both on your phone and your computer. And what we're doing is just sending out some, you know, we talk about reminding ourselves to pause. This is a great way to help you remember to pause or remember to just get your head back in the game. Um, because we're sending it out several times a week. We're not over overwhelming you, but we send out a, an awesome message, a short, awesome message that will help you just take a moment, get that pause in, uh, reevaluate, kind of recenter, uh, set some intentions, mm -hmm. and move forward in a more powerful way. Um, yeah. So it's, it's a really cool thing. Uh, and uh, so I, yeah, I invite all of you to, to join us. It's 100% free. We'll also be giving announcements about upcoming podcast episodes. We sometimes do awesome challenges um, and also updates on the launch of this membership site as well. Yes. yes. Come twerk with us on Telegram. Oh, I like this is our new twerk model. With us Come twerk Telegram. with us on Telegram. Twerk <laughs> with us on Telegram. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, and that's a wrap. Make sure you guys, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. And if you're loving the show, we'd be extremely grateful if you take just 30 seconds to leave us an authentic review and use the share feature to, of course, invite all the people that you care about in this world to listen to. Spread the love. Spread the love. Spread the love. <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye.